for all. Whack! <gasps> I'm sitting in front of the heater trying to warm my body. Heater, me. I'm sitting back here because we've got the pattern for the Famica. Should I just plug in the battery pack or should I try it? Oh yeah. We'll try it first. Okay, now try the... Oh. Alright, right up. Not really. What, not bad though. Somebody said that too high of a battery would hurt the windings of the starter though, too. Man, it's, these things are finicky. I don't know, we haven't tried the battery thing yet. We're just getting a starter battery. I think a starter battery would be a starter battery no matter what. But, I don't know. Idle down a little quicker now. So we're thinking that when we tighten that, whatever that is, when we tighten that up, that maybe it's uh, able to idle down better. And it didn't, it started okay, it wasn't too bad. Um, all done with work. Now for lunch. I just got uh, done cleaning the boat. And if you notice, I've got some sage. So I thought, well, since I've got the boat all clean, I might as well clear the air as well. it right down into the yeah. so just a little notch about as thick as that and this will go all the way around the stove now I don't know if it'll fit in the back of the stove yeah nice well I had a minute I thought I'd answer a couple questions Peggy Taysier asks where does Layla go potty right now because we're hauled out obviously we can take her off down uh, we can take her down the ladder and walk her um but she will go on deck if, if we do go offshore or if we are not gonna be to land for a little while she's pretty good about it she will go on deck zoffinger asked is that a sirocco fan in the background i am wondering if they are worth the money yeah um we've got two fans one's a caframo which is this one here and that one is really loud it doesn't really push a lot of air so i wouldn't say that i like that one very much the plus side of it is it's got a light on it so you can turn a light on and it's all plastic so you don't have to worry about anything rusting um, the downsides are it's hard to clean the blades because you can't get in where the blades are so yeah, that's a couple downsides for it. It also, on the little switch things, some of them have a switch and some of them don't. Like this one comes with a switch and there's a little light on the switch that stays on and it's really bright so at night it, it's pretty bright. Um, and we've had had a couple of those actually go bad, but that's not necessarily the fan's fault. Sometimes Norna likes to drip on them. Um, the other one we have is a uh, Sirocco fan. These are great. Um, they've got a timer on it so you can set the timer for however long you want it to run and the, the speed that you want it to run at. The problem that we found with them is there's a lot of connections to it so there's a lot of moving parts and things to go wrong on it. Um, it's also got metal and all of our metal has corroded on it. So uh, we've noticed that with these fans, at certain anger, eh, anger, at certain angles, you they won't run. It, it kind of shuts off or it gets loud. Um, so we've had a couple problems with it. It's kind of nice. The fan's nice. Like if you reach in accidentally and touch the blade, it won't hurt your hand if you if the blade hits you. 
Um, it's easy to clean. Um, there's probably a way to, you probably should spray the little connections. I think they're just like little magnetic connections or something in it, but they rust and corrode away. So that's kind of the downside of them. We've actually had a couple go bad that we've had to replace. Um, so yeah, each fan has problems. I've heard a couple people use computer fans um, for their fans, which is kind of a good idea. I mean, sometimes, sometimes the more expensive ones, they've got pluses and they've got minuses. Oh, another thing about that Sirocco is if the battery gets too low, it'll actually shut off to save the battery. So it's got like some sort of battery sensor. So that's kind of cool too. Oh, Razor Blades mentioned using wool for warmth, um, having a wool blanket. Definitely. I definitely say yes to the wool. Uh, Duncan Mill one asked, is that yellow pine or what are you using for the redecking? Um, the decking on the aft cabin is actually heart pine. Um, I think the closest it, to it is larch. Um, the, the heart pine that we got is actually reclaimed lumber, so it could have came out of an old barn. And it's real resinous, so when you cut into it, the blades just, it'll dull the blades because of how much resin is on it. And sometimes you have to clean the blades out because of all the resin. There's also heart pine back here. So you can see like how tight the, the lines are on the heart pine. Galley is actually heart pine. This is heart pine here. Actually heart pine right here. I'm kind of doing this a little quickly because we're going to be going out to dinner. So Little Paw 1969 asked, I am new to boating and was wondering what the advantages, if any, are to having a copper bottom slash hull. Uh, well, our boat is wood. It's a wood boat. So, the problem with wood is teredo worms will get to the bottom of your boat and eat holes in your boat. And copper for a wood boat is a way for the worms not to be able to burrow into the wood. So pretty much what it is is tar sandwiched in between the copper. Um, a lot of people have on fiberglass boats, there's copper bottom paint. Christy Huston um, said, I read your book in just over three hours. <laughs> I couldn't put it down. You have lived the dream. Is there a Pacific Crossing in the future? Yes. Um, Pete does want to do the Pacific Crossing. I do too, kind of. Actually, I, I do, but the, the thing about the Pacific Crossing that I'm nervous about is how to get home. But yeah, it probably won't be for a couple years. We'll probably do um, go north, see a little bit of this country. I've, I haven't seen that much of America, so I'd like to do a little bit of road traveling. So I'll probably take Norna up north. We'll probably, I mean, Florida is right there at the Bahamas. Take her to the Bahamas for a little while. And, uh, and, then, and then eventually when Ava gets a little older, um, we'll take Norna to the Pacific. Summer Davis asked, how often does the oakum need to be redone? Well, it depends. Sometimes the oakum will sink down, it'll shrink a little bit. And you'll notice, mostly what you'll notice is the tar will be sunk down. And sometimes all you need is a little more tar to be added. But if it's sunk down and, and you take, you can actually take the uh, caulking iron and kind of just tap in there a little bit and you'll know if it needs a little more oakum added when, you know, it kind of just sinks down real easily. But if you hammer it and it's tight, then you know that it's fine. Um, you also have to be careful with being, with over tightening it as well. Um, we've actually done that before where the oakum came actually through our decking which isn't a good thing to do. You want to make sure that it's not too tight as well. Okay, that's all for now. And uh, we're going to go out to dinner with a friend. And they're going to come over and see the boat. And uh, I'll see you guys in a little while. Dinner was delicious. We went to a place called the Ice House. Really good. I'll see you guys tomorrow.